My name is Sonal Choi, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Maxim Innovative. In this video, we'll learn how to quickly set up our GMSL devices, Max 96705 and Max 96706, right out of the box. By the end of this video, we'll have covered introduction to GMSL products, brief overview of the two parts, hardware setup with POC and full duplex control channel, and an overview of the graphical user interface, or GUI. Gigabit Multimedia Serial Link or GMSL devices are serializer and deserializer devices that utilize high bandwidth GMSL protocol and interface to serialize and transfer large amount of video data and peripheral signals through a single cable up to 15 meters long and deserialize for further use of the data downstream. GMSL devices are especially useful where the distance between the data source and the data sync is significant. Our devices will significantly reduce the complexity and cost that come with implementing wide parallel data buses across such systems. The GMSL1 devices can operate at up to 3 gigabit per second serial bitrate in the forward direction towards the deserializer. Please refer to our GMSL device specific data sheets on the Maxim website for more details on the possible cable length, data rate, peripheral, and other features. Before we get started with the MAX 96705 and MAX 96706 evaluation kits, you will need to download both the evaluation software and data sheets for both device and evaluation kit from the Maxim website. Let's take a closer look at the MAX 96705 and MAX 96706. The MAX 96705 is a 16-bit GMSL serializer that allows serialization up to 16-bit parallel input data and output single-ended or differential GMSL data at a forward serial bit rate up to 1.74 gigabits per second. This device features UART or I2C control channels, GPIO for peripheral control, as well as programmable spread spectrum on serial output for improved EMI performance. The MAX 96706 is a 14-bit GMSL deserializer that allows deserialization of single-ended or differential GMSL serial input data and outputs 14-bit parallel output data at a forward serial bit rate up to 1.74 gigabits per second. This device features UART or I2C control channels, GPIO for peripheral control, as well as spread spectrum tracking on the serial info for improved EMI performance. Let's take a look at how the kit comes in the box and get it up and running as quickly as possible. In each box, we have one coax cable, one micro USB cable, and fully assembled evaluation kit with MAX 96705 and MAX 96706 devices installed respectively. We'll also be using a power supply capable of at least 5 volts. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that all jumper configurations on this evaluation kit is set properly for our purposes. Here's a picture of how the jumper configuration should be. Now that our jumper setting is complete, plug in the coax cable from the out plus connector of the MAX 96705 to the in zero plus connector of the MAX 96706. Set so up the power supply that will be powering the MAX 96705 to output 5 volts with 200 milliamp current limit. Connect the 5 volt power supply to the plus 5B in and the ground tabs of the top right of the MAX 96706 evaluation board. Connect the micro USB cable to the controller also on the MAX 96706 board, which is located on the top left of the evaluation board. Let's turn on the power supply and connect the micro USB to the PC. On the MAX 96705 EV kit, we now see a red LED D8 light up, indicating that the evaluation board is powered. On the MAX 96706 EV kit, the same power indicator LED D8 should illuminate red, and the green LED or the lock LED is illuminated to indicate GMSL link lock establishment. GMSL1 devices typically require a clock signal from the video source to establish the GMSL link between the serializer and deserializer devices. In this case, the MAX 96705 evaluation kit has an onboard external clock generator that is providing the clock signal to our serializer MAX 96705. And now with the USB cable plugged in and our evaluation boards powered on, let's run the GUI that we've previously installed. The GUI ones opened will try to recognize the connected devices by sweeping through the possible I2C address. On the very top of our GUI window under the controller section, it shows where the controller is connected to. In our case, we're connected to the deserializer at MAX 96706, which is what we see here. Right under the controller section, we see the serializer and deserializer sections. The GUI shows that both the serializer and deserializers are connected. 
With our current jumper configurations, full duplex control channel is operational and therefore we are communicating to our serializer via the deserializer, as we can see in the GUI. In the jumper selection sections, we want to specify hardware jumper configuration settings, the same as we have on the hardware. With this, let's press the connect button to move on to the next page. On the GUI's main page, the left-hand side allows basic capabilities to read all registers of the serializer, deserializer, or both, as well as options to save and load existing configuration files. On the main tabs of the MAX96705 serializer and MAX96706 deserializer, we have control over the available registers and features of our device, where we can read the current register configuration and write the modified configuration to and from the device. The additional features tab contains our tools such as the timing generator, PRBS testing, link integrity tools, and others. The log and low level tab allows access to the command log of the GUI and the capability to write low level commands to our devices. Finally, the HCCP tab allows configuration of the HCCP features to the HCCP supporting GMSL1 devices. And that's it. Now we're ready to go and fully set up with the Maxim GMSL1 serializer MAX96705 and deserializer MAX96706. For more information, please check out our links down below for our GMSL product line. If you'd like to know more about Maxim Integrated, please visit our website at www.maximintegrated.com. Thank you and take care.